Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another mood reading vlog. I love mood reading. I think right now I'm kind of in a rut. I sat down to read and I read 15 pages. I've only read 15 pages since yesterday, basically. But the book that I'm going to start reading is Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn. I have put this book off for so long it's like a it's like a trade paperback it's like massive this is my second brandon sanderson book but it's the series that everyone's like you should really like you can read anything in the cosmere and like and start with anything in the cosmere because like all like low-key connected but a lot of people say mistborn's really easy to start in and get into the cosmere with everyone just knows that brandon sanderson is like the fantasy guy like he is the fantasy author like he, he's insane so i really want to get into brandon sanderson i've read tress of the emerald sea and i really enjoyed tress of the emerald sea um so far i'm really liking the writing i'm just not like too far in so i can't really like say anything but yeah i think the way brandon sanderson writes is so well thought out when i was reading this and i was like actually like paying attention to the writing i noticed that whenever i read like there's punctuation in books duh but I am just not, I'm not reading the punctuation. Like there will be like commas and like periods and I will just like keep going on. And so it's basically, like when I'm reading, it's basically like a massive run on sentence until I like, like stop and put down the book or like go on my phone or something like that. So it's like kind of like, oh, I'm like now that I'm really like, I'm paying attention to Brandon Sanderson's writing and like seeing like what sets him apart from like everybody else. Like I'm like actually pausing at this, at the periods and the commas, so. That's a, that's a development, but I am only 15 pages in. I think this is only like, oh, it's not even 550. It's five, like 30, but these, like these pages are really big and the words are low key kind of small. So I think it's going to like take me a long time and it's like a big book. I'm just trying to read as much as I can. This week is like a, pr the like it's coming up to final season. So like I have a bunch of projects that are due before finals. I should be working on those, but like I do read for fun and I, this is, truly gonna be so realistic because i feel like i have more work to do this week and next week i don't even know what mistborn is about like i know it's about a gang of thieves an immortal emperor and secrets stretching back thousands of years so that's all i know i'm kind of going in blind but i want to read this i was going through a phase where i do really want to reread daisy hates one i made the christian daisy playlist and i just want to reread this and i just want to like i want to feel the christian daisy angst mistborn's my main priority and if i want to reread this then i'll reread this but it's mood reading it's realistic and we'll see how much i read in my college week today's sunday i think i'm gonna finish this off next monday to like get a whole scope but i'm gonna tell you guys how many pages i read and all that so starting on page 15 of mistborn and i'll check in tomorrow It might look like I'm not doing work, but I am doing work because I'm crocheting this blanket because I need it for a prop for my my little my puppet. Ugh, and that's due tomorrow. I haven't finished that. I'm so burnt out. Like I don't know why I'm so like tired. I was in a mood like I didn't want to read yesterday on Sunday, I think, because I wanted to edit my wrap up. And then while editing my wrap up, I got like me talking about like three books down. And then I was so bored and I was like, I have to watch YouTube. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I think I'm going to I'm going to skip one of my classes tomorrow because I took the test and we're really just like not doing that much. I really shouldn't, but I just don't feel like going tomorrow. And then I have to write a paper and then I have to I should be doing that I feel like I'm just like so burnt out that I just haven't been reading that much and my page count for Monday is started at 36 of Mistborn and I ended at 106 so I read 70 pages last night and I don't know how how much we're gonna read today class until 7 15 and then I think I'm gonna make dinner but our monday page count is 70. there's just nothing that like seems interesting to me right now i'm so tired and like i didn't have an early class this morning so i got to sleep in like i got the recommended eight plus hours of sleep and i'm just dead like i can't like open my eyes hi guys it is wednesday today i haven't read a single page but 
I did read a film last night and I'm really putting the realistic in the realistic. All of Tuesday, I read from page 106 to 202. So I read 96 pages on Tuesday. It's finals month. I don't think I'm gonna read too much this month. And maybe, I'm just, like I do want to read. Um, and Miss Bourne's actually very, like, I really like Miss Bourne. I really, ooh spilled a bunch of cool fake. I'm really liking Miss Bourne. I don't know, it's just really like fun. If you don't know anything about Miss Bourne, we follow the main character, Vin, and she is like a 16 year old girl and she's like in a part of like this gang, like slash crew. I don't know if they're like actually a gang, but like they're like thieves and stuff like that. So someone finds out that she has magical powers. So in the, the universe is like really cool. It's like alimenty. I think it's what it's called. And so like they can like take these metals and like burn the metals and then like get different powers from these metals. And our main objective is in the world, there's this, okay, he's the Lord ruler and he's like God reincarnated. And he is like seen as a mortal in this universe. And, and then he has like a bunch of like high ranking officials. I don't know what they're called. I don't remember. At the bottom of like the basic pyramid is like the ska and those are basically like the workers and stuff like that and they're treated very badly they're part of the ska and like this like rebellion group in the ska which it encompasses vin and like some other characters that we meet they are trying to overthrow the lord ruler and the person that's like coming up with all this like coming up with the plans and stuff is is kelsier there's like this kind of like i don't know if it's like found family like it's like i'm really too like to like in the beginning to tell but i'm really liking the like the friendship and like mentorship and like almost like father figure kelsier is to vin and i just really like it it's really good um let me make my coffee i was in class yesterday and i was looking up like the brandon sanderson like all of his books he's made damn okay so from my research i think most of his books are part of the cosmere which is like the universe i don't know how they connect to each other but i think i'm gonna read the first three books of the mistborn trilogy and then i think i'm gonna read the way of kings because people love that series i think it's like four books four books in the way of kings and then then i would probably go to the last three of the mistborn series and there's like some standalones that like kind of tie in with them all i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do you guys know how I was so dramatic yesterday? I was like, I'm so tired. I just can't go to the class today. I feel like I, I'm not going to class tomorrow. And that was just so dramatic. Like, I feel fine today. I just don't want to go. But then I, like, I think it's better for me to go. I was meant to have my wrap up go up Wednesday, like today. Um, I don't know why I was like, yeah. Cause like, I was like, Friday's like the fifth and that's a little too far into the month. But like, on the, I just didn't edit it. I just didn't edit it. It's not even like, rough cutted yet so i don't know where i was getting that like oh yeah i'm gonna have the wrap up up by today. but i have probably like 20 minutes left so i think i am going to try and edit a little bit more of it right now before i head to class and then i have to go to another class so i have two classes today you guys don't care and then i'm probably gonna read more of miss born so yeah those are my updates for for tuesday and wednesday and I'll come back with the page count. But here's my coffee. Yummy. Why am I just the best? Look how much stuff I'm holding. I'm holding my AirPods, <laughs> my other AirPod, a book, my water, um, my, my computer charger, my computer, my hard drive. I'm gonna, car I'm gonna carry, I have my Aquaphor. I have my phone in my pocket and I have my coffee and I'm gonna hold the camera. Yup, I'm just the best. You know when I made this coffee this morning? I went to class, left it. It was just sitting in my room this whole entire time. I'm oh, focusing on editing right now. I actually have to do some writing as well. So I can do that. Um, I wanna try to like focus on the editing cause I know it's gonna probably go up on Friday and then the rest of the other stuff I can do it the weekend cause it's due in the middle of next week. So I'm on chapter 14. So there's only 500 pages, like 530, but there's a lot of words on this one page. And so, yeah. Cause I think like smaller versions of the book are like almost 800 pages. I can just never not sit down these clips because i just know i'm gonna blab hey guys 
It is Thursday morning. I read last night, but last night I'm really showing you how realistic this reading week is because I read 54 pages last night from 202 and it ended at 256. I'm like 45%, 45% through the book. I'm on chapter 19 and like I like the storyline like I really do enjoy the book I just don't know why I'm not reading I actually do know why because um I finished editing my March wrap-up and I was just like yeah okay I'll just knock it out today so I don't have to worry about it and I can just like have it scheduled to upload on Friday it was like 12 like almost one o'clock in the morning the first time I uploaded on YouTube the video like was not processing and I was like okay I thought like the whole like video was like scrapped I I I exported it from Final Cut in like the wrong the wrong format. I exported it at like 720 instead of 180. So I had to like wait another like 10 minutes for that export out of my Final Cut. And then during that time I was reading. Um, but before that I really didn't read a lot. So like during like the downtime of editing, I was reading the book. And finally, and I did like all like the description and stuff like that. So it, I actually scheduled it to upload today so it's up right now and then I had to up like I had to edit like a, a TikTok oh my god I think editing TikToks is my least favorite thing ever in my life because I just hate editing TikToks that's besides the point I'm like almost halfway through Mistborn I'm really enjoying it I like the writing style I like the characters I like the plot um but like I don't know I feel like I'm reading it so slow that I'm just not like as invested and I feel like that's like something like that I should like try to get over because like if I'm reading slow that doesn't mean the book is bad you know what I mean so I think after I finish this, I think I am gonna reread Daisy Hates or reread an Emily Henry book because I ha I really know I want to reread Happy Place before Funny Story comes out. So I like reading my favorite Emily Henry book before a new one comes out. So I'm like I have to like actually like pit them against each other. I might reread Daisy Hates or I might reread Happy Place. I've only got like 250 ish more pages left, so I think I could like knock it out. But like these books, these pages. Are like thin and they're so big and there's so many words on them oh i'm gonna get waffles with my roomie it's our two-year like friend anniversary thing and that's so cute no classes today coffee waffle read work that's my to-do list i'm back i got a matcha and i got a waffle it's my waffle there's a waffle i okay i was planning on eating at the the coffee place and they came out with these utensils and i was like no i can't do it these plastic look but like they're not like plastic plastic they're like recyclable plastic or something like that or like um like sustainable stuff and i was just like i can't do it so i came home and now i'm gonna eat my waffle i got a matcha i haven't had a matcha in so long today's the first time that i'm gonna be reading in the actual daytime which is Loki kind of crazy. still reading miss boy <laughs> don't don't ask me how long it's been if today's friday thursday reading updates i actually like tried to ke like catch up thursday i started at page 256 and i ended at 411 in total that's 155 pages and i'm planning to finish the rest of the book today right now i've read to 456 i have less than 100 pages left so I definitely think I can finish it tonight. And then I actually found out like there's a bunch of like new vocabulary integrated in like the magic system of this world, like the elementy like aspect of Mistborn. They always talk about like these burning different metals. And like the first time it was like introduced and like actually talked about, I was just like, yeah, okay. So like burning copper does this and like truly don't remember it. And they actually talk about what all the metals do. Something that happened was in second Red Rising book, so Golden Sun, it like talked about like the ranking of like the order of the houses and that was like way easier to like understand everything so i was just like yeah i just like knew in red rising that the gold were at the top 
and the reds front at the bottom and like the pinks, grays, browns like, in the middle somewhere. I just don't know where. I like how he's doing this because now I can actually look back and like see what that like thing does. There's something like the magic aspect, like running this certain metal does something like pulling and pushing and like those things like they're just like yeah she pulled and then she pushed and i'm like i like there's no picture in my mind of how that like actually like works out like they can like push and pull to like climb walls and stuff like that and i'm just like it doesn't compute in here and i'm just like yeah she pushed she pulled she's fighting like it's not like it's not like grasping and like the action sequences this is how much i have left that's all i gotta say something can go terribly wrong right now <laughs> i'm about to read the last page of part four of mistborn and i'm scared i'm scared i'm actually so scared i don't think that I'm, i don't think i'm gonna cry but i'm actually gonna be really upset if something happens what the fuck oh. <laughs> i said i wasn't gonna cry why are tears in my eyes oh Oh, I knew it. It was too... <laughs> I'm so glad I got my reaction. Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> Gonna keep reading. I'm so upset. I'm actually really upset. Damn it. Hi guys, it is Saturday. Let's do the recap of my Friday pages. On Friday, I finished Mistborn. I started at page 411 and then I ended at 534. So, a total of 123 pages of Mistborn. And then I started rereading Daisy Hates last night. And I'm so glad I did. I'm like this far into it. I have this much left. But I read 115 pages of Daisy Hates last night. And then today, right now, I'm at 260. So those are my page counts. And I think I think the Daisy Hates is like kind of taking me out, my, out of my like slumpy phase. Because after this, I can't wait to read another book. So... That's a good sign. I'm loving Christian Daisy Angst. Since I finished Mistborn, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna rate it. I actually really did enjoy it. <laughs> I feel like the characters, like I like really cared about them because like something happened and like I started like actually like tearing up crying, but like I wasn't like sobbing, like crying. I like didn't expect that to happen. And um, like, yeah, it was, it's insane. Mistborn, so it's basically like the lower class nation of this world, like trying to like make a rebellion to go against their like the Lord ruler. Um, like the the hierarchy is like the Lord ruler, and he has like his inquisitors and like a like high nobleman that can have this ability to do alamancy. So if you're an alamancer and you're just a misting, then there's just one metal that you can burn and then you can't burn the rest of the eight. But Mistborn can burn every single metal. And those ones are really rare because mistings are rare, but like mistings are only like high, no high nobleman or um, half high nobleman people and then half um, lower class people. But the magic system is really cool. It's like kind of hard to grasp a little bit. It's not hard to grasp. It's hard to like imagine for me, but um, it's whatever. I think it's so fun. I really do want to get to the rest of the series, but honestly, I feel like if I just read this one by itself and I never got to the rest of them ever, like I feel like this one ends on a note that's so like final that it's just like it could be read as a standalone but if like, i'd only say that as like i i feel like i don't need any more but i want more because like this world is so like rich that you can explore so many things in the mistborn world so i know there's more stuff to explore because there's five other books but yeah mistborn i'm thinking it's at a 4.25 right now it could be a four it's i don't know it's somewhere in the four it's not a five but somewhere in the four range um, I'm thinking I'm gonna finish Daisy Hates today. I think I have not much left um, and I do have to do work. So I'm just like really enjoying it. I think it's just so like easy to get through. That's all the updates. I feel like the only reason like I started reading a lot more, I, I woke up and like I was fine and I was like laying in my bed and I was fine. And then I like got up, like I actually like arose <laughs> and I walked out and like I just like my head started spinning and like my head just hurt a lot and so um I got back in bed and like I was able to like <laughs> read while laying down but then as soon as I like had to like sit up to like gain more stability to like annotate a new section I was like dizzy again but um I'm fine now so I don't know what I want to read next I think I think I want to read a Kindle book I'm thinking I want to read um 
Abby Jimenez's new book or Bridge Kingdom. I saw like Destiny started reading, Destiny really liked that and then I got another recommendation on TikTok for that book and I was like, okay, hi guys. Um, oh my God, why do I look so Steve Jobs? I'm scared. It doesn't look like this in real life, but I'm not changing just for this. Oh, reading update. Okay, reading updates for Saturday. It's Sunday today. I've read a lot yesterday. Um, okay. In my reread of Daisy Hates, and I actually finished Daisy Hates, so I read from page 115 to page 224, and that equals 309 pages. So I read 309 pages, and then just before bed, I started a new book, which is Just for the Summer um, by Abby Jimenez, which is, I read 65 pages of that. So my grand total for Saturday was 374 pages, and that's the highest I ever got. I actually did do work yesterday too, so um, yeah, I read this, and then I did took a break <laughs> and then I did some work. Out of my 25 pages I have to write for my script, I have 21 pages written. Planning to finish it today or tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be up, like uploaded um, Tuesday and I'm gonna edit it and see like, and see what parts I can take out, what parts I can elaborate on more. And then I have to do two other assignments. Um, I have to do one assignment that I haven't really started yet, but like that's like a t tomorrow thing. My to-do list today is I want to clean my bathroom, I want to clean the floors um, and then I want to, I just want to clean the apartment. I want to mop and sweep and vacuum and all that stuff like that. We have to go grocery shopping and we're about to go. And then I have to at least finish like 23 out of the 25 pages. It's a, it's a process guys. I want to write up the last like page of my, um, my essay and then I want to go through it again. <laughs> and then I want to maybe start on that assignment and then I just want to read. So it's packed. Um, I think I can do it. You don't really care about Daisy Hates, but like the premise of it, like whatever, it's just like following Daisy. And uh, I've always loved Christian Daisy's relationship. Yeah, I think like when I first read it, I didn't really like get the Julian hype in this book specifically, but now I'm really getting, I like went back and I really understand the Julian hype in the first book because I, Julian, the Julian hype in the sec, and like the second Daisy Hates is very warranted. Yeah, it's very warranted. I think I really only read this because I bought two copies for my brother's girlfriend and she read the first Magnolia Parks book and then she really liked it. So I was like, okay, she was going to get the shoe covers. Um, and then I was like, nah, girl, I, I'll, I'll hook you up. Like I went to Blackwell's and I went to be, and I ordered the first two of them in the bigger Orion version. In the bigger Orion version. Um, honestly, actually the, the, the difference between like the indie version and then the Orion version of like this book specifically, it's like, it's not like matte, it's like shiny, but like it's kind of matte, but like it has like shiny detailing and it. it's like really like different. Uh, she's like, I want to annotate the first Magnolia Parks one. So my brother told me she finished annotating that one when I finished this one. So she's going to start on Daisy Hates pretty soon. Um, and I, I just love Daisy Hates. I think... I love the timeline of Daisy Hates and it's just so good. I love it. Even though it's the same exact timeline, I just love it being in Daisy said. So I feel like I forgot how much I loved Roman Daisy. Um, so I think like Chris and Daisy are like obviously like the main couple in this book, but Roman Daisy also Tiller in this book too. Just for the summer, it's basically fake dating, and it's honestly a fanfic that I like kind of read, <laughs> like like the premise of a fanfic that's like um, pretty. Actually, no, it's crazy because like a fanfic. That's, uh, I'm not telling you who for, but a fanfic that I'm reading right now. The uh, like the fanfic author has like she does the, um 20,000 words per like chapter, and normally like there's only like four chapters, not four chapters, but like four parts of the story, but like 20. 20,000 words each and it's just for like a fanfic and I'm like damn like this is good but it's basically the same premise and it's like really fun to like see that fanfic being updated real time and reading just for the summer both the main characters of just for the summer they have like this curse imagine two, two people they're together and so this is our main character Emma and this is a random guy they date for a little while then they break up and then all of, all of a sudden the guy finds his like one true love and then they get married in like the next six months and so like they're like both our main characters justin and emma have that like conundrum like curse going on and so they were like they found each other online because like justin was like doing it like am i the asshole for and then he like put that like part of it about him he's like yeah it was like one of those reddit things it was really fun i like that because it reminds me of dylan's in trouble okay ooga booga okay and like their banter is kind of cute it's really cute right now they're like i i really like justin i think he's like I don't know. He seems so genuine, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we'll let's date, and then we'll break up. Each we'll break up with each other, in like a set time period. According to the curse rules, we'll both find our true loves after that." So. 
they're dating just for the summer. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm like 100 pages in. There's like 400-ish. I have a coffee. I'm gonna be ready to take on the grocery store. We're ending tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow's our last page count day. So I better finish just for the summer. I don't think I can do that, but maybe I will. Hi guys, it is Monday today. It's Monday today and I have my final page counts for the week, this video. On Sunday, I read Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I went from page 65 to 318, which is a total of 253 pages on Sunday. And I finished Just for the Summer today on Monday, so it's not counting towards the page count, but I am gonna include like my final review of Just for the Summer because I have finished it. I think I'm giving it a four stars. Um, you have to tune in for my wrap up to see if that changes or not. But right now I'm at a four stars. I've read three Abby Jimenez books. I read Yours Truly, which I really enjoyed. I think it was like a four star range, maybe higher. I read Happy Ever After playlist and I actually hated Happy Ever After playlist. I hated, I hated how I was going in for rock star romance and came out with country bumpkin, pioneer woman, um, like country aspect of the book. That like really hindered my enjoyment of the book and I hated like the ending, like how they actually like got together again after the third act breakup and I just didn't like it. Um, and then I went into Just for the Summer expecting a lot because I really enjoyed Yours Truly, which is like the the most recent Abby Jimenez book. So I was like, Just for the Summer has to be good because I enjoyed Yours Truly and Happy Ever After Play Lewis was like a one of her backlist. So I was like, okay, okay. I think I, what I liked about Yours Truly more than Happy Ever After Playlist was because they talked about like real like character, like, like moments and like stuff about the character that isn't just like, oh yeah, their relationship. It was like more like deep in their connection to each other. So I really like um, Jacob and Brianna. And they actually make a cameo in this. I think all I think all of Abby Jimenez's books are like somehow interconnected. I didn't really get a lot of the references because I haven't read all of Abby Jimenez's book, but the girl from Happy Ever After Playlist was mentioned, Salone. It said, we bought Salone Monroe's Crockpot Crockpot cookbook and I said I know who that is I I saw Crockpot and I said mm, remember her there was like a one plot like point with a character that I was just like I feel like we spent a lot of time on and I just really wanted to get more about Justin and Emma's relationship because I really loved both of them I think their connection was so true and their banter was so good it just flowed really well there was an ongoing joke that Emma kept on saying like I'm not gonna say it but like it it low-key got on my nerves and I was like okay okay it's not funny. You can stop repeating it, but whatever. But I love Justin so much. He is the, like, he he is the epitome of all the love languages. He was acts of service, touch, gift giving, quality time. He was just like everything. He was just so good. Honestly, the third act breakup, I'm not like one for like, I hate third act breakups, but this third act breakup really hit because it like, if this third act breakup didn't happen, I don't think the relationship would have been as like true. So really like that. And I feel like Abby Jimenez knows how to connect the characters in an emotional way and like do what's best for the characters so they can like, when they do come together, their relationship will last and you can like see that at last. Justin was such a good, he was such a good guy. He was like, he was the best. He did like, ugh, he did so many things for Emma and I was just like, oh yeah, Emma. I, like I really enjoyed Emma too. So yeah, four stars. I just don't think I'm like that obsessed obsessed. So I think I loved Justin more than I love his relationship with Emma, but I have a quote for you. Okay. This is like beach read level. Like sometimes when I look at you, I feel overwhelmed that you exist. This is beach read level. Sometimes I feel like the seasons could come and go and come and go. A hundred years could pass, a thousand. The ground could collapse under us. This house could crumble and go back to the earth and we would still be standing here frozen in time because every second I'm with you is eternal. I've never felt anything like it. <laughs> she, she wrote that. She wrote that. Hey, my man, Justin, he said that. Ugh. And he's funny. He's a funny guy, too. He's He's got humor. There's Justin. Thank you guys for coming along with me and seeing how many pages I read this week in my busy full-time college student life. In this video, we read three books and you kind of saw me get out of like a little slumpy area. We read Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. Gave this a 4.25 stars. That I think that's my final ranking. I really enjoyed it. Next, I have a reread Daisy Hates. It's a, it was a five stars when I first read it, so 
it's still gonna be a five stars. I'm not counting this to my like yearly five star like read. And then we read Abby Jimenez's Just for the Summer and I gave that one four stars. Thank you guys so much for watching and watching me like kind of get out of a rut, like a reading rut. It could be reading slump or it could be work induced reading slump. We don't know. It could be a full, like a true reading slump like I had no like I had no motivation to read or it could be because I had too much work to do and I was too stressed so I couldn't read and then I was stressed about not reading so it got me even more stressed. So it could be it could be either one of them, but I think I'm out of it now. I th I'm excited to read my next book. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.